On February 2nd, Punk Tatani Phil came out and heard Ice Spice rapping, and he burned his own tree down. There will be no more winters or Ice Spice for that brave groundhog. Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. The groundhog left a note for his family that even his immense love for them couldn't relieve his suffering of having to relive Ice Spice's new song, Day after day after day. A TMZ reporter asked Kanye West if his wife, Bianca Sensori, has free will because the rumor has it that he won't let her have an Instagram account because he's protecting her. Kanye proceeded to grab and confiscate the reporter's phone and ask her if she's crazy. This guy right here asked her if she's crazy. Way to prove that you're not controlling by grabbing someone else's phone and not giving it back to them. Don't you love when someone auditioning to be a mannequin in the next Silent Hill horror movie asks you if you're crazy? Have fun looking like an s and real doll. Sadly, Aston Family Man Barrett, who was the basis for the group Bob Marley and the Wellers, has passed away. Aston fathered 41 children in his 77 years on this earth. In his honor, the name of the band will be changed to Bob Marley and the Railers. Good lord. You need to write like 900 hit songs to pay that child support bill. <laughs> Could you be loved? Apparently a little bit too much. Here's a headline you probably never thought you'd read or hear in your lifetime. Marilyn Manson completes community service sentence for blowing nose on videographer. Then again, it is Marilyn Manson. Ah, yes, there's a somewhat normal-looking picture of him. His community service was to clean up the floor at peep shows, but he liked it too much, so they just told him to stop being a disgusting douchebag instead. He must have had somebody else complete the community service for him. Here's SZA performing a tribute at the 66 Grammy Awards with her song she wrote about a movie character. It's The Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. What a string of diarrhea those last two movies are. I can't wait for the comments. Um, this song is actually inspired by the movie Kill Bill. Beautiful. Mark Ronson said that he refuses to perform the song I'm Just Ken at the Oscars without Ryan Gosling. He should have stopped at I refuse to perform the song I'm Just Ken. Anywhere. Anytime. With anyone. The original bassist of the band Hole, Lisa Roberts, has moved back to Ukraine to help following the conflict with Russia. Roberts said that she thought she had a lot to offer because she had already dealt with another disaster for two years while being in the band. Kanye West used a sample of Black Sabbath's War Pigs on his new album Vultures, to which Ozzy Osbourne said he didn't give him permission to use and that he wants nothing to do with Kanye. He should have the same standards for his own wife, who allegedly referred to former The Talk co-host Julie Chen as wanton and empty eyes. She also allegedly called co-host Sarah Gilbert, who was a lesbian, pussy licker and fish eater, and also allegedly said that Holly Robinson Pete was too ghetto to be a co-host on the show. Plus, the Osbournes are also friends with this shit stick. Let's be consistent. This is where I normally mention my sponsors with weird, crazy, fake ads and the beautiful graphics coming out from the side of the screen. But it was just a slow month for my brain when it comes to ad joke ideas. So we'll be skipping it this month. I know, I know, you're saying that's hard to believe because you're just so funny and creative and great looking. Well, even Babe Ruth had a bad game once in a while. And yes, I'm just joking. I'm not that arrogant. I'm more like Barry Bonds, just without the testicle shrinkage. If you know, you know. Now I'd like to document a story on the who gives a shit file. Yes, I'm giving it attention, but who gives a shit anyway? More on the crazy guy we all love to say very accurate things about. Kanye West said that he was two months away from being bankrupt after Adidas terminated their sneaker deal with him in 2022. 
Kanye's estimated net worth with the Adidas deal, $1.5 billion. Kanye's estimated net worth without the Adidas deal, $400 million. Looks like Kanye will have to collect about 20 billion soda cans to recoup his losses. He's already dressed for the occasion. Excuse me if I don't shed a tear for you. To Kanye's delusional complaining about almost going bankrupt in two months with his net worth being valued at about $400 million, I say... Who gives a shit? Azealia Banks has criticized Beyonce for putting out a country album and that it's a grift and Beyonce is setting herself up for ridicule. I disagree. I'm convinced that Beyonce could crap a giraffe out of her ass in front of a group of newborn babies and her fans would call it a masterpiece and yell at the babies for not clapping because they have bad taste. Katy Perry is finally leaving American Idol. Katy has been a judge on the show for the last seven seasons. Producers at the show said that it was time and that they wanted to replace her with someone who was more qualified to give singers advice. Like a janitor from Burger King. I know I'll miss her. I haven't watched the show in forever, but sure. Paul McCartney was reunited with his stolen bass guitar after 50 years. It's suspected that the person who stole it kept it in a place where nobody would ever look. The room where Yoko Ono keeps all her art and song creations. I'm sure she's great. In her own right. Machine Gun Kelly got a new tattoo. He said it was for spiritual purposes. He was definitely high on shrooms. And spiritual purposes means he took a trip back to 1905. And had a conversation with Al Josen on who could do it better. I know it's not blackface people. I'm the professional newscaster. Just go with it. Kelly Rowland walked off the Today Show that she was supposed to co-host. Because she allegedly didn't like the size of her dressing room. Oh no, I guess it wasn't big enough for arguably the second most popular member of Destiny's Child from 18 years ago. Rita Ora filled in for her on a moment's notice that she was scheduled to be a guest on the show later in the day. I guess size really does matter. I don't know what that says about Rita Ora's husband Taika Waititi. He's a good dude, he won't care. Besides, his wife is smoking hot. Trust me. He doesn't care. Gene Simmons mentioned the only time he did drugs is when he unknowingly ate six weed brownies at a party. He said that after he ate the brownies, he looked at his hands and they blew up to a really big cartoon size. This also marks the first time anything attached to Gene Simmons was bigger than his ego. Anything. Australian artist Scotty Marsh painted this mural of Taylor Swift right before her Australian Eras tour. Now here's a pic of the rough draft. Beautiful work, Scotty. Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time. Maybe I couldn't come up with fake ad ideas because it's a shorter month for Black History Month. Black people get the short end of the stick again. It's these times where I really pray that the unfortunate people like Beyonce can finally win Album of the Year at the Grammys. She's been persecuted for far too long.